Folks, how we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. It's a chilly day to say the least outside, so I thought we'd do something inside. I just got a new air compressor and I've got a couple other of the California, yeah, California Air Tools brand air compressors as well. And what I like about them most, you can't get them locally, at least that I've been able to find, but they're very quiet. If you're inside, I just hate all that noise. You can hear the heater going right now in the background probably. And you just, well, an air compressor is way worse. So if this all goes well, and I bought all the right stuff for it here on Amazon, then uh, I'll turn it on at the end of this and show you how quiet it is. It's, it's, it's pretty incredible. This is, this is the biggest one that I bought, but it's still, uh, well, it says, says on there somewhere, yeah, oil-free and uh, ultra quiet. So we're gonna see what it's all about. Just plugs into a regular 110 outlet. Let's get to it here. here. Well, actually a couple of things too I wanted to point out. Well, I'm still getting moved in here, so everything's a mess. I don't have all my tools together, but I saw this earlier, I want to show you. I did get, I got a Yankum rope, like you guys talked about back when we got the, uh, the skid steer stuck. So, got this right here. Haven't had to use it yet, but uh, I'm sure I will sometime soon, but got this big old, this is a fat rope. I think I got one that was rated for a lot of weight. Um, did come with a couple of shackles here too, so anyway. That was your guy's suggestion, and I've got one other thing to show you that I need a suggestion on because this is super annoying. Here, watch this. Let me get this out of the way. I've got this uh, little piece of paper holding that drawer in, but watch. If you just open it and want to close it again, it just starts to open back up. That's real annoying. None of the other drawers do that. Stay in place. You know, this one here stays. All the other ones stay, but not that top one. That's real annoying. How do I fix that? We'll put that back in there for now. Yeah, there we go. All right, folks, thought I'd tell you a little bit about this thing uh, while we're putting it together. Again, it's my third one. I've got two of the one horsepower units. One at, uh, I bought a lot, well, I bought both of them a long time ago. One for my house and one for my shop. And uh, still using the one at the shop. I got the other one in the barn. I'll probably end up bringing the smaller one up here to the, to the house and leave this new bigger one out there at the barn. It'd be more useful out there. Uh, this is a 10 gallon tank on here. 70 decibels, two horsepower motor, 125 PSI max, 5.3 CFM at 90 PSI. That must be a common readout, I don't know. Uh, so this thing is, well, it's California Air Tools, but I don't want you to be misled there. On the box it says made in Mexico. The, uh, the motor itself says made in China. 110 volt, 15 amps, so you can see we're gonna have it hooked up just to a regular outlet in our garage. Oh, we're gonna do a sound test too at the end and show you just how loud this thing is, um, or how quiet it is, maybe depending on, on what way you wanna go with it, but the manufacturer did a video too. It, it looks like maybe they found the noisiest air compressor to uh, compare it against, but it does give you a pretty good sound comparison between something that is pretty darn quiet versus something that is like chattering and loud and really annoying. Uh, a few interesting points that uh, the manufacturer states, they've got an easy start valve allowing it for easier startups using less starting amps. Oil-free pump allows it for use in a variety of temperatures, you know, in quotes, cold starts, and uneven terrain, no oil in the pump. The easy start valve releases a small amount of air from the pump at startup to produce a no load condition, allowing the motor to spin freely. And again, it is a pretty large, for its size at least, 10 gallon steel air tank. I read a review on on uh, this one just because I wanted to make sure it was similar to the other ones I have and they didn't put this I think it was just this um, little hose in here that made a big difference on the the sound level maybe they forgot to put the entire filter on I can't remember what it was but uh, regardless don't forget to do it I think that's how that goes. Was there a, there was an unthreaded space there? Oh, must have been. Alright. Five eighths. Maybe it's metric. 
Real sloppy, 17. 17. fine now, but boy, that nut is spin oh, was spinning with it. That nut is not. Oh, that one's, must just be a real fine line on how much you have to tighten it. Careful not to over tighten. Nope, too tight. That other one seems to go freely. I don't know what. I'm doing here. Still skidding a bit. Better. But that. <laughs> Maybe it won't. It's literally gonna. It's gonna come. It's gonna take itself right off. Mm -hmm. All right. I, I thought we did something wrong on these uh, casters. You can see. Skid marks here? No, not that kind of skid marks. <laughs> but uh, it is not freely moving. I thought we were doing something wrong. And we're not. It says tighten firmly. Come on. I'm not over tightening. That seemed to make the condition worse. But if you don't tighten enough, they just the nut starts to spin right off pretty quick. Anyway, I don't know. Maybe we've got to add some grease on there. It didn't call for it, but but, but look, that is that's not freely spinning. I'm pretty sure it's the same casters on all my other ones too. I don't feel like that's gonna loosen up with time. I could be wrong. Well, that one. What the heck? That one spins real nice. Well, we got one out of two of them. Work and we'll just kind of lean it to the side a little bit when we need to move it around. Folks, we are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it going to help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all-natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not going to corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not going to freeze, and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. Well, wow, that just actually fits right down in there. Doesn't that want to go on there? Must be why they give you two. That's a little bit better. I don't think any of these are big enough though. <clears throat> okay, this thing, it is off right now. Oh, and it came in, listen to this, a little bit of air in there, probably because that's lighter for shipping that way. There you go, plug this in, oh, a little bit closer, got that, get ready, you ready Chris? Oh, okay.
It's not that high pitched. Still have a conversation in here instead of the that's going on. That's pretty nice. This is louder though than my smaller one. I think one horsepower. This is a two horsepower unit. A little bit bigger. I think it's like 10 decibels louder, but that's pretty quiet. I'm assuming you can still hear me talking right now. What happens if I take this out? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is actually louder. Wow. Off. Pull. Oh, it just connects. Oh, and then you. And then you pop it out to. Pressure regulator, safety. See the pressure right now is, oh, 40, 50, 60, 65-ish. No, sorry, oh, that's a, that's a 60 there. 30 to 60. So what it divided by, that's an interesting uh, dash sequence. So it goes up six pounds per, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. Okay, that's logical. Anywho, that's what that's at. Pressure regulator. So this is the regulated air pressure. This is a tank. What you're putting out right here, which we're at about 45 or a little bit over 40. So you can turn that down. And then once you're using it, or I guess if you had enough pressure to go up above here, you know, this is way up here, or maybe way up here. You can still regulate it so it wasn't too much coming out, like if you're using air tools. That kind of thing. On off. Okay. So you're going to see this is a pretty easy, simple thing to put together. We did have some issues with the uh, the caster wheel down there at the bottom on one side. I'm going to reach out to them, see if we can get a different one. I, the other one works just like it should. I I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. I probably am. But uh, we did have to get, I bought a whole new uh, hose kit and fittings and, and just some, some basic accessories for now uh, until I get the barns getting finished. So I'm going to get that all set up soon. And I think we'll probably get a few air tools to keep out there as well. The smaller units I've had for... I think three years, maybe a little bit longer, and they've been serving me well. And in fact, not too long ago, the guys at the shop just kind of pointed out um, just how quiet that compressor is out there. So anyway, we'll see. As long as they fix that, that wheel down there, I'm probably going to be another satisfied customer. I keep coming back to them. Um, bought this one on Amazon. I'll put a link down there. You don't have to get the two horsepower. They make a lot of smaller ones too. Uh, but for me, the big selling point with these guys is it's quiet. So I, I hate the loud, chattery sound and uh this seems to fit the bill so that'll wrap it up for us today if there's anything else i should know about this i'd love to learn something new so leave a comment down below and if you got a better solution besides uh our, our hunk of paper here to keep that drawer closed i would love to know about it now of course we do sell and ship tractor attachments all over the country so go to goodworkstractors.com see what we have for sale if you enjoyed today's video, I'd love to have you tag along. Hit that subscribe button right down below. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Bye.